Yeah, Sharon Pedro, the Dodgers organization responding to me today saying they don't comment on pending litigation and they didn't answer my more general questions about security policies. Meantime, two of the families who are suing spoke out to us today about their allegations. Dodgers fans Adam and Monica Villa say this video shows some of the moments they allege Dodger security used excessive force against them at a game last year. They punched me on the side of the head and uh, multiple times they started punching me and kicking me wherever they could, wherever it landed. And then they grabbed me by my hair and they started to pull me down and they started to bang my head onto the bleachers. And what they ended up doing was they pulled a big old chunk of hair out of my head. They are suing, along with two other families involved in separate incidents, all represented by attorney Peter DiDonato. These all relate to uh, overly aggressive and really attacks on uh, the f three different family members by Dodgers security. <laughs> Involving the VIA, security is heard saying Mr. VIA has to be escorted out. I didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Security says he violated the code of conduct when it comes to language. They told him not to cause he's not coughing no more. They go back and forth. The family tells me they were planning to leave and they don't believe their behavior justified the force used. He was fighting okay. us. Calm down. In another case, Salvador Moda alleges this video shows the aftermath of an unjust use of force by Dodger security that landed him in the hospital. When someone questions their authority, that's when they get particularly aggressive. But people have done nothing. When it comes to the outcome of his lawsuit, here's what Adam Villa says he's hoping for. Give a warning shot, you know? Let them know, okay, if you don't if you don't want to leave now, we're about to beat you. So Lauren, tomorrow is the Dodgers home opener. Can fans expect anything different at Dodger Stadium? Well, yeah, Pedro. So first of all, this will be the first opening day since the COVID pandemic began that the game will be at full capacity. Not only that, last month fans didn't even know if there would be a season because of the lockout. But thousands will file in here to Chavez Ravine tomorrow night to see Walker Buehler take the mound against the Reds starting at 710. Go Dodgers. On this particular story coming up next at 6, we had a retired LAPD veteran officer review the video and the allegations. We'll hear his reaction. We'll also hear from another one of those families involved in the lawsuits. For now, that's the latest live here at Dodger Stadium. I'll send it back to you.